What's good with y'all boys, DX back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create this Mexico Drogue old 2000s style MTV music video effect. It's really more of a filter that you put on top of your music videos. I've been seeing Mexico Dro use these a lot in all of his recent videos. You know, it's just some kind of like old filter that gives it the effect that it was put on TV back in the day when MTV music videos were coming out. And yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna be teaching you how to replicate that style. So let's get into it. First things first, you'll wanna add Lumetri color into your timeline onto all three of your clips. After you've done that, your main objective with Lumetri color is just to make everything as bright as possible and make everything as bold as possible. So what you'll wanna do is go ahead and turn up your exposure. I bring it somewhere around here. And you'll also wanna bring turn up your contrast all the way up to 150 bring your highlights up bring your shadows down until your settings look something like this and your footage is blown out and overexposed like this the next effect you'll want to add on there is s hotspots you'll need sapphire for this entire effect you probably could figure out a way to do this without sapphire but i don't know man it's 2025 you guys need sapphire man like it adds so much that every editor needs i'm just uh, yeah just get sapphire if you don't have it but that's besides the point after you've added s hotspots all you'll want to do is go ahead and change your threshold to something that just uh go makes black highlights over all of your clip and the overexposed parts of it and um just make sure that the dark tones in your clip are nice and dark just make sure that they are make sure that when you zoom into it it turns into the color black okay next i'm probably gonna play with my exposure just a little bit maybe turn it down just a bit probably bring it to like 1.8 something around there and um i don't know why this is set over here and so after you've got your clip nice and color corrected the last thing you'll want to do is go ahead to the effects tab and add sjpeg damage so once you've got on sjpeg damage that is pretty much the entire effect you can leave the quality wherever you'd like you could even bring it down to an 8-bit colorless nothing but um yeah if you want to continue with the effect i'd recommend putting it somewhere around one is good enough it doesn't really have to be that you know crunched up or anything you've already blown out the colors and you know what i'm saying cameras back in the day weren't that bad but yeah after that you'll just want to go ahead and copy all these effects to your other clips on your timeline to your other clips on your timeline with a simple copy and paste and go ahead and make adjustments where necessary if you feel as though something's too bright or something's too dark you can go ahead and just play with the value simple as that now the last and final thing we're going to do is go ahead and add our text so the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and download a font called cable that is what they're telling me is the font that they used to use on mtv back in the day and then the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and write out all of your names so we're gonna start off with the artist name song name the album name and the and finally the label name once you've done all that go ahead and change your paragraph to be aligned to the left as well as going ahead and adding a stroke to your text you'll want to go ahead and make this stroke overfill so the stroke is going over top of it and you'll want to go ahead and just bring it to somewhere around two or three should be good Go ahead and leave your text on the bottom half of the screen somewhere down here would be nice and then finally go ahead and keyframe it so it has a nice little transition into the actual clip finally another thing that i also see in the mexico dro music videos is this tv pg icon so we're going to go ahead and bring that into our timeline we'll go ahead and make it about as small as it should be and bring it to the top of our screen i do want to go ahead and click t on the keyboard to open up opacity and go ahead and keyframe that the same way you did with the text we could actually make this a little bit bigger i feel like it did used to be bigger actually <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put that up there on the top right of the screen Screen. and with that we pretty much have our effect done uh everything everything that needs to be here is here we have our text we have our pg logo we have our filter so everything with the effect is effectively done i hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as i clearly enjoyed recording it three times for you guys i actually even edited it finished it one time before but hopefully this one goes a little bit better and you guys actually end up seeing this one yeah but yeah if you guys enjoyed i want you to hit a little like comment and subscribe go ahead and tell me what other styles you would like me to recreate and i'll be happy to do so go ahead and check out all my presets on my preset store link will be in the description and i hope you guys enjoy your day peace